Hello. Welcome to the first session. This is a collaboration between Connections Neurodisability Services and PACES Sheffield, and it's an active movement session for people with neurological disabilities or movement disorders. And um, before I start, I'll introduce myself. I'm Jules and I'm a conductor, and that means I practice conductive education. Conductive education is an expert rehabilitation and educational approach for children and adults with neurological disabilities. Today's session is not a conductive education session, um, but that it's for you to take part at home to try and get your body moving a little bit and try and be doing a little bit positively to help your health and well-being during the COVID-19 lockdown. Um, one important thing to say is that I cannot see you, you can see me. Um, so please be aware that you're taking part in any of these activities at your own risk, and please be sensible in making decisions to do so. Since anyone taking part is living with a neurological condition or a movement disorder already, I do recommend that you seek um, some professional medical guidance in terms of whether or not it's suitable for you to participate. But hopefully you can do, hopefully everyone can join in and hopefully you can all get something from this simple breakdown of movements for you. So hopefully you've seen in some of the promotional stuff we've been doing for the video an equipment list. I'll just run through the couple of items we're going to need to be able to do the tasks. Um, it's very, very simple. First of all, either seated in your wheelchair or using a dining room chair or stool, any sort of chair you can sit comfortably on. If you have independent sitting balance and you can balance yourself, ideally doing it on a chair that means you can sit freely. If you are needing a support of a wheelchair, then it's absolutely fine to try and do these movements within a wheelchair. So the items you're going to need are uh, a long stick. Now, most people haven't got a stick like this lying around their house like me. Um, but what you need is something like a rolling pin, perhaps, if it's got the handles at the end that you can hold, um, a broom handle, if you take off the end of the broom or the mop, that works really well. Alternatively, if you've got a walking stick that you use or a tripod stick that you use, you could hold that, although it might be a little heavy, but you could try and use that. Any stick you can hold with two hands like so. And similarly, a shorter stick or item. Now, um, anything that has a big grip and is nice and light and short really would do. Uh, you could use, I don't know where I've popped mine now, but you could use a deodorant um, canister. You could um, use the handle of, if you've got an adaptive cutlery with a large handle, that would do really well. You could use a pen. Um, and hold on to that. The idea is that we're trying to get quite a big grip um, size. So a pen isn't ideal. Um, something that's a bit bigger and makes your hand a little wider is better. But if you haven't got that, then a pen is absolutely fine as well. OK, so um, if you need help from anyone, please make sure that you have a carer, a partner, um, a friend, next to you doing it, obviously someone who's with you in your home during lockdown. Um, and just we have pre-recorded these videos so that you are able to stop and start them at your leisure and um, to make them fit around you. There will be times when you might need a little longer to get to grips with an idea or you might not find one suitable and you want to skip ahead. So that's why we've pre-recorded them. But when we put them out live, we're going to be available online for you so we can please comment, please like, please share and um, we can help you baby problem solve if you're struggling a little with any of the tasks or any of the movements. Um, so if you're ready then we'll begin. So I'm going to bring myself first of all up to sitting and the first most important thing we're going to do is to get a good sitting position to start with. So what that looks like is on your chair or in your wheelchair your feet at 90 degrees to your knee and your hips at 90 degrees to your body. So a nice square position. Now, if you're on a chair that perhaps means you're a little lower, then it might be worth putting a cushion underneath your bottom to lift yourself up slightly. And similarly, if your legs are dangling down a little, you might want to put a book or something like that. Telephone directories are always good underneath your feet to try and get that really nice 90 degree angle. If you're using a wheelchair, you may be kept in that position anyway by the structure of your wheelchair. You might have straps and things like that anyway, so don't worry too much. But what we're really trying to correct this for is to make sure your upper body is nice and straight and can move comfortably as best it can. Now, in what I do, 
um, I use a thing called rhythmical intention in conductive education. And that is where we say what we're doing whilst we're doing it to make it easier and to control our movements better. So today I am going to say, although it's not a conductive education session, I'm going to say what we're doing whilst we're doing it. And I encourage you to do the same. So I will demonstrate how I do this all the way through. Try and join in. If you're nonverbal or you struggle with your speech, try to think it along with the movement as you're doing it. Or maybe a carer or someone helping you might be able to be that voice and say it along for you. OK, either way, if you're just listening and hearing my voice saying it, that's fine too. But just so you know, that's how it's going to sound to you as a viewer. So, first of all, I put my feet flat. I stretch my back. I lift my head up and I sit straight. I sit straight. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. So first of all, we're just going to do a couple of breathing movements to try and open up your lungs and get some oxygen pumping around your body. So I'll demonstrate first, then I'll take you through the movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to close our lips, breathe in through our nose. And if you're able to also lift your arms up, please do. If not, keep your arms down in your lap. Try and bring them as low as you can to get a good position and a bit of opening in your body. OK, so I close my lips, breathe in through my nose, arms up and arms down, breathe out, and breathe out through your mouth. Close your lips, arms up, breathe in, and arms down, breathe out. Close your lips again through your nose, breathe in, and arms down, breathe out. Lovely. OK, if while you were doing that, you lost your position a little bit, just correct that sitting position once again. So bringing your shoulders back, chin up and I sit straight. I sit straight. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. OK, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to focus on moving our head. So try to keep the rest of your body still. And when you're moving your head, Try and keep that still position and just isolate the movement in your head, OK, in your neck. What we're going to do is we're going to be bringing your chin up towards the ceiling and down towards your chest. So I'll show you from the side just so you can see really sitting up on those sitting bones and you're bringing your chin up to the ceiling. And then down to your chest, giving yourself a double chin. OK, nice and slowly. We're going to do this movement a few times. And then we're going to bring our chin back to the middle, okay? So I lift my chin to the ceiling. I lift my chin to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring my chin to my chest. I bring my chin to my chest. One, two, three, four, five. Good, make sure you keep that sitting posture. I lift my chin to the ceiling. I lift my chin to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring it down to my chest. I bring my chin down to my chest. One, two, three, four, five. One last time, I'll show you from the side while we're doing it. I lift my chin to the ceiling. I lift my chin to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, and I bring my chin down to my chest, down to my chest. One, two, three, four, five, and then I bring my head back to the middle, back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. So whilst we're keeping this sitting position, just be aware if your body tends to keep your shoulders and your arms quite tense, perhaps you've got some spasticity in your arms, just try to relax your shoulders down a little and try and bring your arms down a little too. So it may not be that you can have your hands right down on your knees like me, but if you can get them lower than usual or more loose than usual, then that's really what we're aiming for. So even if your arms usually are here, then having them here is progress. OK, so just whatever you can do to try and open your body a little, really try and do that whilst we're doing these seated tasks. OK, 
So the next task that we're going to do is we're going to take our chin and move it across over our shoulder to either side. And when we do so, you've got to imagine you're sort of looking right behind you. I know my view is pretty exciting behind me of my door, but trying to look right over at the door behind me and then back and right over the other shoulder. And also try not, at this point, we're going to do something else to twist our bodies later, but try not to twist your body too, too much while you're doing it, okay? Try and keep that whole body nice and still and straight, okay? So I look, oh, before I start, sorry, one thing, I'm going to say right side, but use my left side. That's because I'd like to provide for you a mirror image of the movements you're producing. So what I don't want to do is confuse you with left and right. So when I say right, I'm going to move my left. And when I say left, I'm going to move my right. But just so you're aware of that when I move. So I look over my right shoulder. I look over my right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. And bring my head back to the middle. I bring my head back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. I look over my left shoulder. I look over my left shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you're looking really far over, 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 over. And I move it back to the middle, back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do that one more time on each side. So I look over my right shoulder. I look over my right shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Try and hold it there. Breathe deeply while you're there. And I bring it back to the middle. I bring it back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And then look over my left shoulder. I look over my left shoulder. One, two, three, four, five. Take another deep breath here. And I bring my head back to the middle. I bring my head back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Super. You may have kind of slumped a little and lost your position as you're doing that. So just try and bring yourself back to upright again. Now we're going to do one thing now to help with that slumped position a little and bringing you into a really nice sitting position. So I'm showing you from the side again, just so you can see what my back's doing, but you can face the screen as we're doing it. What we're going to do is we're going to slump down and roll your chin down and roll your shoulders forward. And then we're going to bring your shoulders back, chest out and chin up. Chin not to the ceiling, just up. So it's looking straight in front of you, okay? So we're going to slump our shoulders and chin forward. Then we're going to bring our shoulders and our chin up. OK, so I bring my shoulders and my chin forward. I bring them forward. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring my shoulders back and my chin up. I bring my shoulders back and my chin up. One, two, three, four, five. I bring my shoulders down and my ch uh, chin forward. I bring my shoulders down and my chin forward. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it there. And I bring my shoulders back and my chin up. I bring my shoulders back and my chin up. One, two, three, four, five. And one last time, I bring my shoulders down and my chin forward. My shoulders down and my chin forward. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring my shoulders back and my chin up. I bring my shoulders back and my chin up. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. OK, so now what we're going to need to do is get that long stick or whatever it is that you've got, your version of it, your broom handle. Now, when holding on to this, I am presuming lots of you may struggle with your grasp, either getting a grasp or keeping a grasp on the object. So what we're aiming for at the best level is to try and have both hands on the stick with your wrists turned up, if you can see from the side like so, with your fingers nicely in line and your thumb out to the side here. 
But I know that's going to be difficult for some of you. So what we need to try and do is try and get as good a grip as you as you can. Sorry. So that involves trying to line up your hand as best you can and bring your wrist down as best you can, trying to get an object into your hand. If it's difficult for you, just take your time. If it's hard to open your hand up, perhaps try and slide it in and then make sure your fingers are nice and straight. And if it's too loose for you, your grasp, then perhaps a helper or someone with you, a carer, might just be able to give you a little bit of support keeping that grasp whilst we do the next task, now whilst we do the next movement. Um, whatever you can do is great. I'm going to be demonstrating lifting the stick quite high up to chest height. If you're able to do that, that is brilliant. But if you're even just able to lift ever so slightly up off your knee, then that's brilliant. And if you're able to keep a grip just the whole time in this position, and that's a challenge for you, then that's brilliant too. So any level of participation, as long as your body is trying and you are joining in, then we're really pleased at what's going on. So I hold onto the stick with both hands. I hold onto the stick with both hands. One, two, three, four, five, and then check those feet. Check your shoulders, check your chin, and I sit straight. I sit straight. One, two, three, four, five. And then any attempt to try and lift this stick with both of your arms at the same time, as high as we can go, but we're going to chest height if we can. I lift the stick at chest height. I lift the stick at chest height. One, two, three four, five, and I bring it down, I bring it down, one, two, three, four, five, doing it again so you can see from the side, I lift the stick at chest height, I lift the stick at chest height, one, two, three, four, five, and I bring it down, one, two, three, four, five. Last time, I lift the stick at chest height. I lift the stick at chest height. One, two, three, four, five. Try to keep it there if you're able to, just for a few more seconds. And I bring the stick down. I bring the stick down. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Right, so the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to twist ourselves side to side. Now, if you're free sitting like me, there's room on either side of you. If you are in your wheelchair, it may be more difficult. So you might want to try either bringing the stick up here to chest height or bringing your hands together and bringing them up here so that when you move, you're a bit more clear. You may need to move any lateral support you have on your chair. If you're able to flick it out at all and give yourself a little bit more space to move, then do. If it's too difficult, just repeat the looking over your shoulder that we've done so far, because that will help a little. It will be more difficult to do this in your wheelchair, but if you're able to do anything towards it, then that would be great. So I twist my body to the right. I twist my body to the right. One, two, three, four, five, keeping your legs facing nicely forward. And I twist back to the middle, back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And I twist my body to the left. I twist my body to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it there. Good. Try not to slump or twist in that sense. Keep your chin lifted. And I bring it back to the middle. I bring it back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Once more on either side. I twist my body to the right. I twist my body to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Keep that chin lifted and those shoulders back but not lifted as well, keep them down. And I bring it back to the middle. I bring it back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And I twist, I twist my body to the left. 
I twist my body to the left. One, two, three, four, five. And keep it there. And I bring it back to the middle. I bring it back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. Lovely. Well done. So our final movements now are going to be using that short stick. So if you can let go of the big stick, take your time, tell your fingers to release and pop it down either next to you or on your lap or somebody can maybe move it out of the way for you. OK, before we start again, what we're going to do this time is we're going to hold the object in just our right hand to begin and then we're going to swap and use our left hand. OK, so the same applies of keeping our fingers nice and straight, our thumb out and if you can, your wrist down in this sort of position okay so I hold on with my right hand I hold on with my right hand one two three four five and I lift the stick at chest height I lift it at chest height one two three four five and I bring it down, I bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. I lift it up, I lift it up. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring it down, I bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. And this time when we've lifted it up, we're also going to try and take it out to the side. Again, if your movements are very small and you're only getting a very slight lift, that is absolutely fine. Then we're going to just try and get a slight external movement, a slight opening on that side as well. OK, <clears throat> so I lift the stick up. I lift it up. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> And I take it to the side. I take it to the side. One, two, three, four, five. Super. Keep your shoulders back and chin up and sitting right up on those sit bones. And I bring it back to the middle. I bring it back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring it down. I bring it down. One, two, three three, four, five. And then whether you let go <clears throat> and pass the stick between your hands or the object between your hands or whether you pass it in one go is fine. But if you move that into your left hand this time. So I hold on with my left hand. Wrist down. I hold on with my left hand. One, two, three, four, five. I lift it up at chest height. I lift it up at chest height. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring it down. I bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. I lift it up. I lift it up. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring it down. I bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. And this last time we're going to also take it out to the side. I lift it up. I lift it up. One, two, three, four, five. And I take it to the side. I take it to the side. One, two, three, four, five. I bring it back to the middle. I bring it back to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And I bring it down. I bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. And then very carefully letting go and popping that stick down as well. Now, those movements may be difficult for you. As I said, even if you get a little bit of those movements, even if your arm just lifted ever so slightly or took ever so slightly to the side, then that's still worth doing. And it's still really good for making sure your body is moving and doing active things. 
So thank you very much. We'll stop there for today. I think that's more than enough to keep a lot of people busy. If you liked any of the particular bits, please go back and repeat them. I've done them a couple of times for each movement, but you can do them as many times as you like and whatever you can tolerate, please do. Keep yourself moving and keep yourself active. If you've enjoyed what we've done, please let us know. If you've got any requests about certain things you'd really like us to do, please also let us know. Please like and share with people you think may benefit. It's all about trying to help people with movement disorders keep as active as possible during this lockdown and trying to get people's bodies moving and that in turn helping us feel better and keeping our mood higher. So thank you very much for joining in. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you during our next session. Bye.